Welcome back to another Level Master video, and today we're joined with Jeff. Welcome, Jeff. Lucky. And we're going to be running through our Level Master spare streamers and talking about the different rise and goings and how they're adjustable. Okay, I thought we might just cover off on a few uh, mathematical things about stair strings. They tend to be a little bit confusing, but hopefully at the end of this video you'll have a better understanding of how it all comes together. A um, couple of terminologies first of all. Um, we have uh, what we call a rise, and, and that rise is the, the vertical distance between one step uh, and the next step. So in, in this case, this one is 175, and we'll show you what we mean by that. Just gonna pop this ruler on here. Um, and you'll see that there's 175 mil difference or lift or vertical difference between those two. Um, that is consistent all the way up, and as we go through the number of stairs, that's very, very important, that each step be exactly the same height and lift in each one. You can see the configuration that we have here is what we call a bolt-down configuration. Um, and the unique part about the Level Master Stringer is that it has an adjustable foot on the bottom. Now, let me just show you what we need to do to set this up correctly. The adjuster gets bolted on using these structural bolts here on the side. So you can see from the measurement here that from the ground to the top of that um, stepping bracket is a measurement of 125 millimetres and that's exactly what we want because when we then put our tread on top of this that's going to bring our first step from the ground back to the 175. When you put another tread on top of that that's going to be a lift of 175 and that just gets repeated all the way up the stairs. So we're setting this first one at 125, 50 mil step on top, that gives us our first step up from the ground to the tread at 175 and that's exactly where we want to be. If there's any adjustment that's required up or down, that's exactly what this footing is, is able to do for you. And also too, if there's a slight difference in the height of, uh, of the pad that it's dropping down to, Obviously we've got two stringers involved, you can adjust one up and adjust one down. That way your, your, your tread is going to be perfectly level. Um, it, it's a unique design to level master and we think that's going to make the job much easier for you on site. You don't have to get the heights exactly right, you can just adjust up where you need it. The other height that we want to talk about is the total rise. So the example we've got here is we have a two step. So one, two, and then the third one is up to the landing. And uh, I've got the marker set at 525 here, and that is the height that would be on the top of your veranda or your deck. So you can see that the mounting point here um, is just below that, and that gives you room to uh, you know, secure to, uh, you know, to the bearer of the joist where that's going into there. So that's the height, 525. Even steps of 175 bringing up the height deck of 525. So in terms of different base plates, do you have other alternatives to the uh, bolt down? Yeah, um, as you can see, uh, this is the bolt down version. The casting version uses a very similar adapter plate, except it just has a long leg. Uh, Lock if you just like to pass that one over, I'll show you what you mean. Um, so this gets cast down in, in, into the concrete um, and, uh, and just gets bolted up here as we do with this one here. So again, you've got your adjustability. So this act actually ends up down into the concrete pad. Okay, and what is the range of stringers that Level Master offer? So by regulation, uh, we manufacture from one through to 17. 17 is the maximum number of steps that you can have by regulation. So we make to there. If you need to go past a height of, of, of 17, um, then you would need to go to a landing and then go on with the second set of stairs. So that's the, the regulation um, which we need to follow. The stair regulation is, uh, is mandatory throughout, um, throughout the country um, and we can provide technical information in more detail on that if you need it. You can see that they're all hot dip galvanised. Um, and they're designed to take a 250mm wide tread um, and they are all, all at a consistent 175 rise throughout our range that we stop. Uh, one great thing is, as you saw, 
The bolt down version and the casting version are interchangeable. So it doesn't mean that you have to stop a cast in and a bolt down version. You can just swap them around whatever yeah. your customer requires. So that's a great benefit. I need to do one stop one stringer for both jobs. So now I heard that you mentioned um, if you got up to a 17 step that you need to add a landing. Do you guys uh, provide an adapter for that at all? Yeah, sure. Obviously, when a landing is involved. Um, we can't use the bolt down configuration or the casting configuration. So we do have an adapter plate that's available to then bolt to the back of the landing. So yeah, those are available. Um, any other information that you require in terms of um, rise and, and goings that we spoke about, have a look at our website or our catalogue has a, is a great host of information in terms of calculating the correct height and stair choice for you. Okay, well thanks for running us through all that, yeah? Thanks Lockie, catch you next time.